Act two, those meatloaf cupcakes. So we just took them out of the oven and um, you know, we're not done yet because they don't look like much right now. Of course, you can serve them like this with just mashed potatoes on the side and they'd be fabulous. Um, but we're going to make them extra fun. So got some mashed potatoes here, a few cups of mashed potatoes. And, uh, you know, you don't have to make your own. You certainly could. But we picked these up right at the deli at Festival Foods. And they, they're actually real potatoes um, with some lumps. So this is the real deal. So I'm going to try my hand at this. Now, if I were at home, I'd probably just spread a whole bunch of these on with a spoon. But Deb is encouraging me to get fancy and go outside my box, my comfort zone. So we'll see how this goes. But. Um, she says it's easy, so we'll see. All right, got a piping bag here that we picked up. Uh, you know, you can pick them up at uh, Cook's Corner or um, Creative Cake Supplies. And I've got my mashed potatoes that I'm going to shove into. Uh, you know, a Ziploc baggie would work too. But we're got you know the fancy pastry bag with the tip, and we've got a big tip. I went to Creative Cake Supplies and I said, what's the best? tip for doing like mashed potatoes or um, you know deviled eggs and they steered me in the right direction. All right so I'm going to give it a twist and get those potatoes down there. And we'll see how she goes. So you know you don't have to do anything fancy. Let's see. I did about 12 dozen cupcakes like this and my arm about fell off but they did turn out really nice for a bake sale. Girl Scout bake sale, but I haven't used the piping bag since. Oh. How about them apples? <gasps> Ann and Deb, if you can see them, they're like, she's never going to figure this out. Very she's nice. never going to figure this out. So there. Very nice. <laughs> this is actually a no brainer. If you have the right tools for the job, I guess. So see how the mashed potatoes look like frosting? And then you're going to pop these under the broiler just to warm those potatoes a bit and then get a little bit of a crust on top, kind of like the idea of, you know, shepherd's pie. And let me tell you, your kids are going to freak out about these. Or even adults for dinner, I think that this would be really fun. Everybody's into minis these days, mini desserts, your own personal desserts. It's very in, very all the rage. So um, you could do for like an adult party, as finger foods, do real mini meatloafs. You've seen those mini muffin pans, and then pipe the uh, potatoes on top. Cute. Okay. All right. You guys owe me. They were betting against me, I think. So at this point, this goes into the broiler just to warm up those potatoes a little bit, get that little crust on them. And let me check on mine and see if they're done. Thank you, Ann. Oh yeah. All right, I'm going to give them just a second or two longer, and I'm going to talk about, instead of putting sprinkles on top of these cupcakes, fun idea that you could do is just use some frozen thawed peas, and you can warm them up at the microwave just a little bit, or a little bit of um, snipped chives or some parsley, and this is going to kind of be the decoration on top of these cupcakes, just for fun, like the sprinkles. I just want to chop this parsley up fine. So, you know, you don't have to do that, but it's going to look pretty, trust me. Just so excited about this recipe. All right. Let's get those mini meatloaf guys out of the oven. How fun for the kids to come home. My, the first thing my kids do when they come in from school is, what's for dinner tonight? Not hi, Mom. How was your day? I think that's just a, a, an all-around kid thing. They don't mean anything by it. That's just how they operate. Yeah, so yours could be done even a little bit more, but just kind of warms the potatoes. Aren't they cute? And then, like I say, you know, you could throw a couple of peas on the top or around for a little decoration or a little bit of parsley. And they're my meatloaf cupcakes. Couldn't be cuter, could they?